What's going on guys? Hope you guys are doing well. Here today to do a quick video, kind of a rundown. Been getting a lot of questions on what ball head I'm using on my rifle tripod. And uh, just want to kind of give you guys a quick rundown what I think is truly the best ball head out there. Uh, this is just my opinion. This is what works well for me. I went through a couple different variations and I've ended up here now. So first things first, you YouTube reviewers, we do have a safe environment here. No magazine. I'm go ahead and drop this. Nothing in the chamber, so we are clear here. Uh, just to get right into it, this is the Really Right Stuff Anvil 30 ball head. And I'll show you here in just a little bit what I used previously before this one. And I did end up selling that ball head to my buddy. So I'm first just going to take the rifle off of the ball head, off of the tripod. So you get out of the truck, set your tripod up. This is how easy it is to clamp this thing down onto the tripod. Set it right up there on the ball head. Take this lever right here. Push it back. And you're locked in. Once you get it locked in, this thing is sturdy, clamps down really well, really solid. You know, I can walk, walk out to the field, get set up in my spot. This thing's not going to move at all. Get the legs deployed here. And then the main reason why I went with this ball head and why I think it's a very good option and one of the best is the one lever system here that controls the lockup. So what you do is this is push forward, clamp tight towards the front. Just take this throw lever, move it back, and then you've got full cant rotation. Then once you're on an animal, get locked on. Just take your throw lever right there, and it's solid. So it's just as quick as that. If, he's, if I shoot the first animal, he's down. The second one's running. Just move. Back on. And then you can get tight control of course when I'm out in the field I'm not going to be slamming this back like this but this is just for your guys's reference but you can really control this thing and barely open it and then it's going to be a little bit more difficult to move so it stays pretty sturdy see I can still move it there but it's still going to be locked up So say I shoot that first one, second one is running, move, get on him, he's going up a hill, whatever it is, close it down, bang. Just a real quick and simple mechanism and way to control all of your movement in your ball head with one lever instead of two, typically two different knobs. And I'll show you here real quick what I came from, what I used to use, and don't get me wrong, this is an awesome ball head. Killed a lot of coyotes with this, but uh, my buddy was just looking for one and figured I would sell this to him and then upgrade to this. But what this does, so you have this knob here you just unscrew this and then that gives you full control of the pan and the tilt. And then you've got this other knob right here, which you loosen that and then you can turn it. So you've got a couple different knobs there to mess with, which really isn't that big of a deal. Like I just mentioned, this setup right here has put a lot of coyotes down and no problems with that. But I just like the simplicity of this. Yeah, it is expensive, but I mean, if you're a coyote hunter and you're serious about it, say you hunt 40, 50 times a year, this thing's built like a tank. It's going to last you 10, maybe 15 years. You know, it's a drop in the bucket as much as you're going to be using it. Wanted to do this video real quick, just because I have been getting some questions on the setup. And uh, if you guys have any questions, make sure and comment down below. Make sure and stay tuned. Going to be a lot of coyotes going down this year. Already got a good start to the season. Season came in October 15th, and uh, we're just now early into November. So 
be getting a lot of content out, getting out in the coyote fields again, and uh, bringing you guys that footage and bringing you guys along. So appreciate you all being here. Make sure and subscribe and like the video. Uh, stay tuned for more, and happy hunting. Be safe. See you guys. Bye.